what is really happening with the market here in Collingwood, Blue Mountain, and the Southern Georgia Bay region as a whole. Well, this is the Southern Georgia Bay Comparative Market Report for 2022, year over year with the last five years to look at these graphs. This first one here is the dollar volume sales. 20, as you can see here, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. And it's only when you compare all of these years together that you really see what is happening because what we felt over the last six months was on the heels of what happened the two years prior that no one really knew what was up and what was down and where this uh, market was going with eight interest rate hikes in the last year and such. But to look at this really tells a story. Let's start here with these uh, sections right here. So these lines are the 2018 and 2019 dollar volume sales across the year for Southern Georgia Bay. A regular rise up towards the spring Sometimes a little dip in the summer when the kids get out of school, a little bit of a spike here in the fall, and then back down. Now, those were two very good real estate years. Um, but now we get into 2020, where we kind of started off a little bit high, as you can see here. Dropped into nothingness, really, um, when the world shut down. Spiked up as the doors began to open, and then dipped down again as the doors began to close at the end of the year. So these are, an, that's an anomaly year. This is anomaly dollar volume sales. 2021. Again, we spiked at the beginning of the year, like incredibly high dollar volume sales over a normal year. Um, and then tailed off, a little slow in the summer, a little spike. So we started to see some normalcy in the pattern of the numbers in 2021. And then what you'll see here, which is the most amazing news, is we spiked here in 2022 with our dollar volume sales. Again, much higher, by $100 million higher than a normal uh, quarter one. And then by the time we got into starting quarter three and quarter four, you'll see here that the sales dollar volume leveled off just as it was in 2018 and 2019. Now, the last six months of last year, we thought the sky was falling. It feels to everyone that the market's down. It's bottomed out. Um, you know, it's the worst of the worst, but it's only comparing it to this height of the market that we had for dollar volume sales back in the quarter, first quarter of 2022. Uh, this section right here really shows that for the last six months of last year, we were back on track for a normal dollar volume sales market as it pertains to the two years prior um, to the pandemic hitting. The next part of this uh, data center that I want to show you is this right here, which is the unit sales. So what's interesting is that our unit sales are very, very different now because our average sale price is very different. So this tells a story as well, and this shows other glorious aspects of how we have gotten into a very balanced state by the end of 2022. So let's look at this again, 2018, 2019. You can see them right here. They're normal years, all clustered in here. <coughs> you can see 2020 dips down, spikes up, and then dips down again in unit sales and finishes the year in sort of a normal range of sales. Spiking up again from that normal range to start 2021 and dipping down into what would be normalcy and a balanced market. And then here, what we see, which is very interesting, is even though the dollar volume sales were very similar um, as we got into the last six months of 2022, we spiked uh, a little bit at the beginning of 2022, um, which we thought was really, really high for sales, although the prior year was much higher for unit sales. It was just this part here in 2022 was really high for dollar volume sales and average sale price. Then we dropped off and we spent the summer a little bit low compared to what would be 2018, 2019, a normal year, if you will. And then by the end of the year, we reached back to normalcy in terms of what the normal unit sales will be. So this is actually quite brilliant for our market. It's given us a great start to uh, 2023. Now, when the numbers get released month over month for January and February, what we're going to see is optically, they are terrible sales um months year over year because January and February and March of last year were such incredibly high unit and dollar volume sales and average price sales. So the important thing to recognize is the optics is it looks bad because we're comparing it to the unicorn months of sales. The reality is we're back on track. You can see by these five year graphs, we are back into a normal balanced way of selling real estate in this region just at a higher average sale price and right now at a higher interest rate than we were for the last couple of years. But if we go back to 2018 
you know, the interest rate was <laughs> between 3.5 and 4%. Not much higher now than it was then, but very high versus what it was a year ago when you could get a mortgage for about 1.1%. Uh, maybe you could get it fixed for closer to 2%. But overall, we saw the average sales price uh, basically double. Last year, at this point in time, we would have saw the average sale price around 1.1 to 1.2, so we are down from that. If you want all of this data set sent to you, if you want to have a Zoom call to talk about this and break down what's really happening in the market and get rid of all the buzz that's out there and the optics that would make it seem like we're having a bad start to this year compared to last year, we have got right into normalcy and uh, balanced area for our market, and we are looking forward to an amazing 2023.